Good morning, folks. Our star is still without sunspots, but we've got space weather anyway, including strong activity on the far side. Got a couple of images from space that are worth a look and a note or two. Also got weather across the planet. It's just about 3.45 a.m. in Colorado, and let's get right to spaceweathernews.com and check out the last day on our star. Dark coronal hole turning. We'll come back to that. To the north of it are the thin plasma filaments. All have remained stable, but continue to be the top eruption threats because the other kind of eruption, the solar flare, is flatlining without sunspots. The solar wind streams at Earth are intensifying, however. Density shock followed by speedier particles is the result of the coronal hole and sector boundaries in the stream. No geomagnetic storms yet, but energy is rising and localized storm effects are cropping up. It's not the currently Earth-facing coronal hole that set that stream, but the one out ahead of it you see here from two days ago. It is no longer visible, having turned around, but the stream hit yesterday, and this coronal hole will impact with its stream tomorrow or Sunday. If we get geomagnetic storms or even persistent instability, we will get an intensification of one of these systems. It's likely to be the southeastern one. Those systems popped up as the stream hit yesterday and longitudinal coupling began from CMEs that erupted into space. As you might guess, having seen the calm Earth-facing side, the eruptions came off the back. Flares and a filament snap. None of it is coming our way. Top news articles include this from Mars. They say the different ripples are the result of going from an ocean and atmosphere to almost none now, preserving the change in the dunes. I might comment that Billy can do this in the lab with just electricity. We've got some great shots of Jupiter's aurora in ultraviolet on top of a true color image. Juno will arrive in just three days, and then King Zeus's secrets begin to unravel. Again, folks, if you didn't catch our questions and dissent video, the responses have been that it was very needed given some of the dissents put forth and that the numbers given there are the most telling of any we've given yet. You can also find that video at spaceweathernews.com slash challenge. Of course, everything we do stems from suspiciousobservers.org. We'll have two deeper look episodes on deck soon for members, July planetary geometry and some detail about a strange atomic nuclei. We've got weather forecasts and current global conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Uh -huh.